Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Doublecube and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. This is the second part where I teach you guys how to finish a complete logo design. So in the first part we're going to relearn how to create this logo for Tempo Arts, if you don't know who Tempo Arts is, um, he's, a YouTube he's a YouTuber and a graphic designer, um, so I'm going to link his channel in the description, go subscribe to him. Uh, Alright, so if you guys haven't seen the first part on how to create a logo design, I really suggest you do. So go down to the description, watch the video and come back and we will learn to how to present this logo in a more colorful manner. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of these layers. I'm going to right click and choose group. It's supposed to be grouped. Uh, yeah, they are all grouped. So I'm going to go and just shrink it down by holding Shift and Alt and uh, I'm going to shrink it down so. And once I shrink it down, we're gonna go ahead and color up this dude. So um, if I go do this website over here, just bring this up. So it's called coolers.co, and this is one of my favorite, and this is the best website that I use to uh, get all my color schemes from. So if you guys haven't uh, checked this out, go go and check this out. I'm also gonna put a link in the description for my other video, which shows you guys my top three websites to pick the colors. So this is my favorite color. So I'm gonna be using these two colors as the main color. The, for the strokes and uh, probably these three colors for the color of the you know the logo so let's see how it works out so what I'm gonna do now is selecting all this I'm gonna press ctrl C and I'm gonna press ctrl F and that's gonna make a copy and I'm gonna go and just set this to some random color for now and I'm gonna go to object I'm gonna path and I'm gonna click on offset path and I'm gonna go ahead and just click on preview and see how big offset I want so probably I'm gonna go for something like 25 let's see how thick that is um, yeah 25 it looks good maybe you can go for 30 I don't know let's see yeah 30 looks better I'm gonna click on OK and uh, I'm gonna go come here to the pathfinder I'm gonna click on this and that's gonna merge it into a single layer now it looks pretty you know messed up but I'm gonna fix that it's not gonna be a problem at all and now I'm going to right click and choose arrange and send to back which is supposed to send it to back, let's try send backward uh, let's see what's not happening, let's try this, let's come here to the layers, let's see what's happening okay it's all there, yeah there it is, yeah there it is, that's what I'm talking about alright, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fix this up so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press P on my keyboard, we're going to get rid of these unnecessary anchor points and I'm going to just come over here and uh, let's just make this look simple and cool. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. We're going to press P, get rid of this anchor point. So this anchor point and uh, yep. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. We can actually delete this anchor point. Press P and we're going to delete that. Press P again, get rid of any of these anchor points. Anyone does not matter. Great. Uh, press A, go ahead and, uh, yep, uh, no, let's get the rulers back on, let's see, uh, we're gonna make this a little bit more up, to the side, make sure it's sitting on the same thing, yep, this is better, uh, let's get rid of this anchor point, press A, and we're gonna go ahead and, uh, this has to be straight, so we're gonna move this up. Yep. Yep. It's the same thing over here. Let's go to view and choose snap to grid and view show grid. Nah, we don't want show grid, let's get rid of show grid. Hide grid. Okay. Now we're going to go to Alright, that's looking good. Okay, so let's get up this, let's get our colors now. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to click on this, and select all of this, and I'm going to come here and just press Ctrl V. And that's going to pick a beautiful color. Yeah, that's looking really good. And for this one, uh, I don't know which one. Let's see, um, I'm going to select this darker one as the inner stroke, let's try that. So select this one, and yeah, mm, not too great, I mean, it depends. Oh, let's see, let's see what we get. 
Okay, so once we have that, let's select this one, uh, the outer edge. Let's press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. We're gonna go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and uh, let's click on Preview. And we wanna set this to pretty small, not too high. Let's set it to 20 probably. Uh, give it a little bit of thickness, not too much. Maybe we can drop that down to. Let, 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 let's actually give it to 20. All right. Let's see if we get a. Yeah. This is this is this is cool. This is cool. Mm, this is better. Is it better? Uh, let's try 15 and see how that looks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with uh, 20. 15 is probably too much, too less. Okay. And uh, now we can go ahead and now we can just go ahead and just cover up all these small areas. Uh, before that. Uh, we're gonna select our color, so I'm gonna come over here, select this color, and uh, click on this one, no, this one, the outer one, and uh, press the, select the outer one, and let's just select to this color, and hmm, this is looking much better, I'm not quite sure whether this is the look I want, hmm, huh. maybe we can make this a little bit more darker color, so let's just go ahead and, yeah, that's a better darker color, ooh, ugh. Let's try something like this. Not quite sure, you just have to play around with the colors. And then go with this. And now we're gonna go ahead and just press P on the keyboard and we're gonna get rid of all these anchor points. So we don't want all these unnecessary anchor points. We want it to be a full outline. Oops. Yep. So we just get rid of all these anchor points. Yes, uh, we're gonna keep this one for now. So let's just go ahead and select this one. Press B, get rid of this one. And press A. Sorry, press B, get rid of this one again. Press A. And uh, let's just, yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. We're gonna select this one. Press P, get rid of this anchor point. Press V. Press A, select this one, and let's just. Let's move this, drag this thing out. Alright, that is looking better. Let's go ahead and create a nice background. Let's see how that looks on top of everything. Maybe we can choose this color or maybe this color itself. Copy that. Uh, let's just create a new, just a box. Okay, and uh, fill up and wow, voila. This is looking dope and sweet. So uh, this is how you color your uh, textures guys and give the final, final touches to it. Hope you guys, uh, so this is pretty much it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to watch the third part of the teacher guide, how to present your logos as an ABI or you know, as a wallpaper or whatever it is uh, you wanna do. So this is basically just a simple flat image. We're gonna make it look more cooler in the next part. So I'll see you guys there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, take care and bye-bye.